Hey guys, Ben Funderburg with Hey Man Fishing. And on this episode, we're going to do some early morning bass fishing. There's a question I want to ask you guys and gals and get your opinion. So I'm hoping most of you make some comments. So stay tuned. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, got a little small bass here. Yeah. I'm fishing a uh, I'm fishing a hump out here in the middle of the lake. I got the sun coming up on us here. We're gonna throw over uh, we're gonna throw over this uh, hump, see what we can pick up with this uh, white color uh, red eye. I to pick up something. Them fish ought to be feeding earlier this morning. Out here. Uh, okay, I got one. I got a fish out to my right. We're gonna you see this fish right here. We're gonna throw out there on him. He's about I know a lot of people not much for that live scope. And uh you know, I mean you got the you gotta hunt them can't make them bite I throw less than uh, I ever have cause of the live scope because I'm searching more uh, this morning is not as much as searching because I know where these humps are and I want to just throw over top of them if you can afford the live scope that's a good thing I know some fishing tournaments are trying to ban it but uh i don't know the technology i don't know how you're gonna get away from the technology it's just gonna get better i mean what they had the ls 20 years ago and then they come with the, come out with the 32 now the 34 and they got an ocean version called the 64 on the live scope now i'm not real familiar with other brands with hummingbird and uh Lawrence, but uh, of course, you know, they're all in competition. Leave your thoughts on the comments what you think about the live scope. Think it's cheating. Beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. I'm in there. There he is. Yeah. The bass wanted it. Yeah. Going down, going down, going down. Oh, guy going up. Oh, he hit it. Going over three more right here. There he is. Oh, yeah. Good fish, good fish. Oh. Y'all saw that. Ooh, he's a fighter. Where did he go? Is he 
Ain't that? Come on. I believe he's hung up. Come on. Hey, come on, buddies. Ah, that was a good fish. That was a good fish. Might have been a might have been a catfish. There you go. There we go. Oh, we got two of them. Three, four of them following each other. Yeah. Yeah, they out here hitting on them uh, shad in the water. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. I got one going over on it. He's on there. Yeah, he's on there. Yeah. Looks like I got a couple of them following him. Fish. Got him on a spoon, boys. On a spoon. Good too. Yeah. On that red eye, that bone color red eye. I believe that's what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah. Bumper. Oh, he just want that. Oh yeah. Old bass got it. That old bass got it. Yeah, that's a big headed bass. Oh. Okay guys, let me cover on uh, the particular uh, lures that I used this morning and the, the, the equipment. I used a uh, TRD uh, Copper Truce Z-Man Worm and this is a 1 6 ounce weight on here. Uh, at, I think Magbytes off of Amazon, you can buy that from that particular company, that uh, 1 6 ounce weight. And I throw this on the brush piles uh, or structure. Just let it, I just throw it out there and just let it float down. And I, I worked it over top of the brush, over tree stumps, anything in the water that looked like might be holding some bass. Uh, and then uh, I got this on a uh, Cast King 
2000 series reel. This is a Spartacus 2 and I got our Abba Garcia seven foot rod and I, it's braid to fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon leader. And that really works well for me. I can really feel the bite. I caught a lot of fish on the Ned rig. I, that's been a good rig for me. Uh, the other is uh, I used a bait caster on a seven foot. Uh, this is a um, rod put out by Bass Pro Shops. Seven foot, tourney special. I don't buy nothing really expensive, but I get a good couple of good seasons out of uh, the equipment that I buy. The, the reel, this reel is made by uh, Cast King as well. It's called Mega Jaws. Been a good, been a good reel for me. I got several of them. The lure that I was using, I caught a few fish off of this, is a Strike King um, Oyster Color Red Eye. This is in the half ounce. So, and I used the, uh, I used just monofillet. I got 10 pound monofillet on this rod uh, in reel. So, um, and that worked good for me. I can cast, I can cast long distances with this. Uh, but that, that was the two that I used on the water. Um, please leave your comments about the uh, live scope, the question on the live scope. Uh, um, how do you feel about it? Is it a good thing? Are you, any of you using it? Um, I, I, I don't depend on my live scope, but it sure does help me out on the water uh, finding fish. And it cuts down a lot of the throwing that I used to to do and uh, hey I'm 64 years old and my backing is as good as it used to be I could stand out there all day long casting hitting every uh, point and piece of structure that I could see um, or had grafted and uh, by the end of the day my back was killing me and uh, I can say uh, now I'm I'm throwing 20% of the time and 80% of the time I'm grafting or I'm, I'm, I'm scoping for fish, so uh, it's been good for me. Tell me what your feelings are. Make a comment too, and uh, until next time, God bless all of you. See you later.